Hi there, this is a formal lesson. So I'm dressed formally. It's a formal lesson, no uh, music, no silly behaviour by me. I'm being sensible and we're doing addition and subtraction of mixed numbers. Hand up those who know what a mixed number is. Oh wow, I don't have to shout it out, but that's good. Because a mixed number is a whole number and a fraction together. Like three and three-fifths. That's a mixed number. Okay, we're with me? You're with me, all right. Now, when we're adding mixed numbers, say we have uh, four and one-fifth plus three and three-fifths. How do we do that? Well, that's pretty easy, really. Because what we're going to do is we're going to add the whole numbers yeah? If you had the whole numbers, four apples and three apples, you've got seven apples. And then we can add the fractions. One, because it's easy, because they're the same name at the bottom. One fifth plus one, uh, three fifths is four fifths. Alright, so that is how we add mixed numbers. You add the whole numbers, and then you add the fractions. It gets a little bit trickier if you're. Uh, We've got a different denominator, and I think then, you, uh, for that lesson, go to grade 6. But at the moment, all you need to know is, I, uh, for grade 5, just add the whole numbers and then add the fractions. You probably know how to do it if it was a different denominator anyway, from my previous wonderful lesson on equivalent fractions. So, there we are. Um, I'm going to do a takeaway now, which is very similar. So we have um, three and three quarters, take away two and one quarter. All right, that looks just as easy as the plus one. It is. Uh, three, take away two is one. And three quarters, take away one quarter is two quarters. So all we did was take away this... Uh, the whole numbers and take away the fractions. Now we can run into difficulty with uh, subtraction though, doing it this way. Because if that three quarters was one quarter, and this was three quarters, this quarter, then we would have three take away two is the one, but we would have one quarter take away three quarters. It gets a little bit uh, difficult. We end up not, not being able to do it, or into going into negative. So. Most teachers, most schools recommend to do the subtraction a little bit differently. If you have three and a quarter, take away one and three quarters, it is best to change, don't put the sign there, it's best to change both the mixed numbers into improper fractions first. So we change that into an improper fraction by multiplying 4 3 to 12 plus 1 is 13 over 4 minus 4 1 to 4 and 3 is 7 over 4. Now we've got 13 quarters, take away 7 quarters, which is 6 quarters. Right? It's much easier to do. And of course, six quarters is the same as one and two quarters. All right, that's addition and subtraction. Very easy uh, addition. Subtraction gets a little bit trickier. You have to change them to mixed numbers first, or improper fractions first, I mean. Okay, uh, that is my formal lesson. Uh, if you're not sure, rewind. If you want to know more, you can go to the grade 6 one uh, and really get ahead.